the first point to stress is that old adage that we have two ears and one mouth, and we should use them in that ratio, to listen more than we speak. The better we listen to people, the more likely we are to say things that they're interested in. Does that make sense? So I'm going to offer you what I call the four suits approach to having powerful conversations. So we start by first stressing there's no point talking about all the old usual stuff that we're going to see. I do accounts and tax returns and some bookkeeping. I specialize in limited companies and sole traders and, and uh, contractors and family businesses and owner managed businesses and all the stuff you expect accountants to do because you've heard about accountants and that's what you think accountants do and yes I do it. It's taken for granted that you do it. There is no point in dwelling on it. So the four suits approach. Yes. First one, spades. Imagine you have a metaphorical spade and at the start of your conversation you're digging around trying to find out what is of interest to the person that you are with. What fascinates them, what interests them, what are their troubles, what are their needs. You're looking to try and form some emotional connection. Something that you both, not necessarily feel passionate about, but that you're both interested in. It could be sports related, social, cultural, it could be business related. But there's some overlap, congruence of interest. I'm sure you're aware that people tend to like other people who are a bit like them. So you're looking to find ways in which the people you're with can go, yeah, he or she is a bit like me. We have something in common. Does that make sense? Yeah? Then the third area are the clubs. You're looking to see if you can identify clients of yours who are in the same clubs, if you like, as the person you're talking to. Now, I, I use the term clubs not literally. We're not looking to find that they're, they're both masons or both part of the same rugby club. But there are overlapping interests or areas of business or issues that overlap between the person you're with and clients that you have. So you can talk about your clients in a way that will resonate with the person you're with. And then the fourth suit is, of course, diamonds. Diamonds remind us of the most important part of conversational impact, and that is the follow-up what you're going to give the person or do for the person that you're with afterwards. Now clearly, we're not going to give everybody we meet a diamond necklace. But whatever we do by way of a follow-up has to be of value to them. Promising to send your marketing material to them doesn't count. Yeah? <coughs> That's the four suits approach to having a more powerful conversational impact with the people that you meet, the people that you're looking to influence to help you to grow your practice, which is what we're talking about today. The conversations that you have are so important, though. I want to offer you another secret, if you like, of how to make your conversations more powerful than all the other accountants out there. 